Welcome to SCSU TV. My name is Tim O'Shea. Today we'll be taking a look at the community garden and the students who maintain it, as well as a prominent journalist who recently gave a presentation here at Southern. At the end of the show, we'll be showing an interview I had with Stefano Guerrera, where we discussed two awesome world language courses offered here at Southern. All right, let's get started. A brand new projector has been purchased and is now in use in the planetarium. Professors Elliot Horch and Dana Cassetti will be utilizing the planetarium in their classes and will be putting on shows for all students on April 19th and May 10th. Students who are interested in learning and experiencing more than what they will be presented in the open shows can register for the Principles of Astronomy course here at Southern. Now let's see what the Community Garden Office of Sustainability here at Southern is all about. The Office of Sustainability put on a community garden work party earlier this week to start to get the community garden up and running for the spring. SCSU students who work at the Office of Sustainability taught several volunteers about the various functions of the garden, as well as how to properly maintain a garden as large as the community garden. Office of Sustainability assistant Taylor Marino gave us an overview of the garden and its various functions. We are the Office of Sustainability. We are a part of SCS Southern Connecticut State University. We primarily focus on different student-led uh, projects, whether it's recycling food, food recovery, swap shop, um, Thrifty Owl, which are two reuse stores, and then obviously our community garden here as well. During the event, students were able to get many vital tasks done that will ensure the various plants in the garden receive the proper care and nutrients they need. Today we did a garden work party, um, basically asking volunteers to come and help us with getting the garden prepped for the spring and summer season. Um, so, so doing different things like weeding, mulching, cardboarding. Um, we actually planted a small spruce tree um, and just different things like that to get ready for the season. However, the event doesn't provide all of the care the garden needs for the spring. The Office of Sustainability is looking for students willing to join and help maintain the garden. Taylor told us how those interested can join and help maintain the garden year-round. So we have different ways that people can get involved with the Office of Sustainability, whether it's volunteering, um, internships, or paid positions. Um, you can either come to the office directly, which is in the facilities building, or you can email us. Um, we also have a website, the sustainability website with, with Southern. Um, so those are kind of a lot of the different ways that you can just get into contact with us and we can totally figure out a different way that, different ways that you can get involved. Are you interested in helping and love to be outdoors, but you don't have the time during the school year? Office of Sustainability Assistant Derek Faulkner talked to us in detail about the paid positions available this summer. It was nice to see so many people come out today to help. Um, so we always have space for volunteers to join in on any of the student-led projects we have. So that could be here at the garden or it could be with food recovery or anything we're doing uh, off campus with some of our partners. Um, specifically, what we're looking for right now is we're hiring for uh, summer interns. And so this is paid positions. Um, you do need to be a student. You have to be a student at Southern, uh, but this is a paid uh, position probably about like 30 hours per week. Um, we're looking for help out here specifically in the garden and that would last all summer. Um, and if a student's interested, that would last into the fall as well. So if someone likes working outdoors, uh, you like gardening, you like food systems, anything like that, uh, reach out to the Office of Sustainability. Uh, and that's just sustainability at southernct.edu. Really easy to remember. So if you love being outdoors and need a summer job, or if you just wanna help out during the school year, be sure to reach out and join the Office of Sustainability. The Office of Sustainability is putting on a painting event at the Community Garden next Monday, April 17th. Students will help finish the paint by number mural on the side of the Community Garden shed. The event will take place at 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and no prior experience is needed. So if you're interested in spending a beautiful afternoon painting outdoors, be sure to head to the Community Garden next Monday afternoon. The Special Events Committee has announced that this year's spring concert headliner is Ray Stremmerd. The concert is Saturday, April 22nd at 1 p.m., and tickets are only available for Southern students and their guests. There is a limit of one guest per student, and every attendee must have a valid form of ID to enjoy the show. Prominent Latin American journalist and activist Jose Gonzalez gave a powerful presentation here on campus this week at the annual Latin American and Caribbean Studies-sponsored Social Justice Keynote.
This presentation educated students and faculty on the complicated history of Latin American immigration in the U.S., the story of those immigrants, and the role they played in American history. Mr. Gonzalez also went over the complicated history of United States relations with South American countries. The presentation was very informative and powerful as most American history classes don't go over the difficult history of Latin American immigrants and how their labor have helped build the United States. And don't forget Spike Lee is coming to campus on May 6th. A variety of topics will be discussed including his personal filmmaking journey as well as filmmaking in general. Tickets are $20 for students and $30 for faculty, staff, and student guests. Next up, we'll have my interview with Stefano Guerrera from the World Language Department to talk about the two new courses offered here at Southern. Welcome back. I'm Tim O'Shea here with Stefano Guerra, a student worker from the World Language and Literature Department who's here to discuss the German and Arabic courses offered here at Southern. Stefano, thank you for being here in studio Thanks with us today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about your education here at Southern and a little bit about your personal life. So right now I am a senior here at Southern and I'm studying political science and communications with a minor in psychology. Double major. Double major. Impressive. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, no, I just, I love being here. It's a great school. So a little bit, uh, we were talking a little bit before this and you said that you are from Texas. You lived yep. in Texas yep. almost half of your life. And you even lived in Mexico for a little bit. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So yeah, I was born in Dallas, Texas. I lived there for a good amount of time. And my dad's from Mexico. So uh, we were like, you know, let's move to Mexico. Let's uh, experience that. And it was great. I lived in Mexico City for a time. I got to meet a whole other world. And it was, it was great. I wouldn't want it any other way. Living in Mexico, a foreign country, do you think that's why you have such an affinity for languages and foreign languages? Well, yeah, actually, because when I was growing up, my dad spoke Spanish with me and my mom spoke German with me because mm -hmm. she's German. So when I was growing up, I spoke this hybrid between German and Spanish, which, you know, threw everyone off because they're like, this is a whole new language. And yeah, it was great. And how does that help you now in your finding a career, even in your education here at Southern? Honestly, it's great because whenever I put in a resume that I can speak a second language, uh, employers are like, wow, that's great. Especially German because not too many people around here actually have a mastery of the German language or are foreign German speakers. So uh, that's why you're here today. You're here to promote for the language department, German and Arabic. Exactly. So why German and Arabic? Why are these languages so important, do you think? So German and Arabic, they hold a very strong strong, uh, they're very strong in the business world. So for in German, for example, a lot of the big businesses in the automobile industry, for example, like BMW, right? They are a German company and they love to acquire people from other countries that actually can speak German because that is the native language. Same thing with Arabic. Many countries in the Middle East, they have a lot of business opportunities and people who can speak Arabic have a higher chance of being hired by those companies than people who cannot. So I believe those two languages are very important. And is that why Southern is offering them now here? Exactly. We offer German, Arabic, also Spanish, French, Italian, and other key languages that are important in your everyday life. And you touched on it a little bit in the business world. Having that expertise in a foreign language is so important. Uh, have you had any personal experiences with that? Exa yes, I actually have. Um, so there are many, for example, I, um, did a, I'm doing a, an internship right now in Hartford at the Capitol. Mm -hmm. And in my resume, I put that I could speak a second language. Right. And funny enough, when they were, I was doing my interview, they were like, you can speak a second language. We know some people, sometimes constituents, who are native German speakers, right? And because I can speak German, I'm able to translate and help out in any way that I could. So it's, it's great. And I know in high school, you know, you had French, Italian, mm -hmm. Spanish. Arabic and German weren't really offered in too many high schools. Um, why do you think in college it's so important for someone of this age, a college student of their age, like 18 to 20 years old, it's so important for them going into a career? Well, college is the stepping stone into the career. That is the very last step you need to do before getting into a career. And I believe it's vital to learn a second language now right before you're getting into whatever career you'd like to do. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to learn a language now rather than postpone it till later. And is that why it's required at Southern to take a language or have a previous uh, uh, experience with a language exactly. in high school? Exactly. Yes, it is important that it is required because you know many people, it, it, it takes time. It takes time to learn a language. And sometimes people wouldn't want to do that, but it's required because it's such a key part in getting a career. It's such a key part in being in a global community. 
-hmm. You know, a lot of these industries, they're international. A lot of the jobs are international. And so when you have that second language, it separates you from the other people who do not know a second language. So It's a good thing to have on your resume. It separates you, uh, yourself from other candidates is what exactly. you're saying. Exactly. Um, you know, students here who maybe don't want to go into international business, mm -hmm. they're saying, I, I don't want to learn a language. I don't, I don't want to do it. This isn't for me. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to those students? Well, to those students, if you don't do a job uh, that's international, it could have, you can use it in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll meet someone that you're trying to relay information to, and it's important, and they speak another language. Can you imagine if all of a sudden you're like, I know that language. I can speak that. And so then you're talking with them. Yeah. So it's also a, a trait that you can use in your everyday life. Right. So it's just a whole multifaceted skill. And so how many, uh, and so one more question, if mm -hmm. I may, yep. um, you know, there was a little debate with the language requirement last year in mm -hmm. the language department. Uh, I think the student government was passing some legislation yep. to yep. change the language requirement. What do you have to say to that? And what do you have to say to the students that don't want to take a language? I think taking a language is one of the most important skills you can learn in college. Like I said before, we are, as a country, very tied in the international field. We have a lot of people coming from other countries who want to live here and a lot of people who move from here to other countries. So I feel like it is important to adapt to the current times and know a second language. Appreciate it. Stefano, thank you for coming here and explaining the importance of language and promoting the language department. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining us today, this week on SCSU-TV. We'll see you next time. I'm Tim O'Shea.